the Houston Astros. Kyle Tucker, Jordan Alvarez, and Framber Valdez. That was really the highlight of last night's MLB All-Star Game. Jordan Alvarez, Kyle Tucker, two guys who weren't even a part of the 2017 World Series team that allegedly cheated, getting booed by a fan base in Seattle that really, really hates the Astros. What's going on, people? And welcome aboard the Paul Gallant Show. On this Wednesday, July 12th of 2023, I am Paul Gallant. This is the most interactive sports talk show in Houston. 713-780-3776 to call in, to text in on the HRNP listener line. King of all Twitch is at twitch.tv slash ESPN 97.5 says the most aroused show in Houston. Well, I, I can't say that I'm constantly living at a level where it's as if I've just been consuming blue pills nonstop, but every single time that I hear the Houston Astros get booed, a little bit of joy enters my mind. I feel like we all got to appreciate just how hated they are. And I think some of the people that want to be liked just think you're doing it wrong. That's what the best part of last night's game was. Not Dusty Baker finally allowing the National League to win a game with his managerial decisions. It's seeing Kyle Tucker enter the game. Again, a guy who was not even on the 2017 team and getting booed. Here's how that sounded. as he walks up to the plate and part of it's the Seattle fans that were there in attendance. And part of it is probably fans across baseball, but I actually get happy when the Astros get booed. It is a sign you are still relevant and any Astros fan out there who still wants all of baseball to like them. It's never going to happen except that this is what it is. You're never going to forget this time. Years from now, you will remember how this team was booed during a bleeping all-star game when the team that they were playing for, the American League shares the same stadium as them, they were still getting booed. And I guess it doesn't really matter if you're rooting for the American League anymore, right? Like, no one actually, I think, roots for the league. The game doesn't count anymore. Thanks, Rob Manfred. But there we are. The National League takes down the American League 3-2 to two last night. Sean, do you enjoy that the Astros continuously get booed? Yeah, I, I think specifically with the with the Mariners... Because you know that it's like, they're not mad because of the sign stealing. Like, they're, they're mad because of last year you kicked their ass. Like, that's why they're mad. Like, they, they're not, if they didn't play in the playoffs, like, they probably would still boost some. But the reason that they don't like Jordan Alvarez and Kyle Tucker and Dusty Baker is because they beat them in the playoffs in October last year. That's the reason. I really wonder how loud it would have been. If Jordan Alvarez, who had a clutch home run in game one, the walk off and a clutch home run in game two to go ahead. I really wonder how loud it would have been when Jordan came up to the plate. We did see at the very least Jordan Alvarez running laps across the uh, shallow outfield before the game. So that's definitely a promising sign about his oblique. Maybe the Astros found a proper Pilates instructor for Jordan to get that thing back on track. Yes, Sean, you're right. The Astros... I think among all fan bases in baseball, specifically are hated by Yankee fans, Dodger fans, and Mariner fans right now. And then after that, I guess to an extent, Rangers fans. But do Rangers fans still exist? We didn't even have Tab call in. I mean, I all think... of a sudden, it's a two-game lead. Where's Tab? Where's Tab, the guy who called into the show talking trash about the lead that the Rangers had in the AL West? I, I really do think it needs to, like... It needs to happen in the playoffs because, like, all the teams that don't like the Astros, like, they, they play in the playoffs. Like, that that's what really matters. Or that's what gets the adrenaline going, not, you know, series in July, you know. I wonder if Red Sox fans hate the Astros. I know that Bill Simmons whines about them on the, the Bill Simmons podcast about from everything. time to time. 
That's true. That's all. That's all that show Bill is. Bill Simmons is, is only good for movies now. He's just. I, I think he's lost a fastball. But whatever. Hey, uh, I, at least he said some complimentary things about Jabari Smith Jr. the other day. But yeah, I, I don't think. I don't think Red Sox fans really have the same energy for it. I think it's because the they they split the series. The Astros beat him in 2017 in the ALDS, and the Red Sox beat him uh, in 2018 in the ALCS. But. Um, I, I really think specifically it's those three fan bases above everybody else. It's because those are the teams that like ha- like because the Red Sox, like you said, like won the next year. Like, mm-hmm. and I don't think that it's any like self awareness where they're like, well, you know, we were also cheating in eighteen. <laughs> it's it's, not, it's not. not because of self. It's just because they got the trophy at the end of the year. Like that's, <laughs> that makes that's sense. why they're less upset. That makes sense. And the thing with Seattle, we'll talk about this a little bit more in the next segment. But the thing with Seattle is they really have so little, right? I mean. They're lucky to have made it into the stadium last night because there was supposed to be a massive protest that was going to completely screw up the area around T-Mobile Park last night. They've had an absolutely miserable history. I will give them credit. Like I do like Mariners fans, even though they do not like the Astros because they treated me well when I was up there. And they are loyal despite this franchise being the absolute worst in baseball history. Like That's the worst franchise from start to finish that we have seen. And they've only been around for, what, 40, 50 years or so. But they are by far the worst. They have just basically done nothing for the entirety of their history. So all they have to cling on to is hate and booing people that come up to the plate against them that have had success against them in the past. Pinche asks, are we now the evil empire? Feels so good. Yes, 100%. They are the Death Star. It's fun to be the villains. It's fun to be the bad guys. I grew up a Patriots fan. I feel like I'm getting to relive it again since that's never happening again. <laughs> the Patriots are done. I can even admit that. Oh, come on. Bill O'Brien will get the offense on track. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, uh, that makes me feel really optimistic. Bill O'Brien and Mac Jones. But I love that I get to relive this again. Like, everyone hates them because they're so damn consistent, successful, and they may have gotten away with cheating. And they get to rub it in everybody's face. That's the best part. They got away with it. Suck it. I wanted to talk to you guys about Seattle and the way that they handled the Astros over the course of the last couple of days. So there were a couple of moments that we talked about in the all-star game. You have Kyle Tucker and Jordan Alvarez being booed as they um, walked onto the field. You had Kyle Tucker being booed at the plate. You also had the announcement of the Astros drafting Bryce Matthews during the MLB draft. Was this Saturday? Was this Sunday? It was at T-Mobile Park. I mean, this is probably the only point during the MLB draft that anyone cared about what was going on. Listen to how loud this is. With the 28th pick of the 2023 MLB draft, the Houston Astros select Bryce Matthews, a shortstop from the University of Nebraska Lincoln. I mean, Rhett Manfred could barely get it finished. So, I, I, again, some respect to Seattle here. They booed Orbit the mascot, who, to his credit, and, and Sean, we don't need to play the audio of this one, but just to get a picture of what happened, Orbit's walking down, I guess, the pink carpet going into T-Mobile Park, and he brought a box of tissues. The Astros are experts at being trolls and leaning into this villain thing, which makes it so much better to root for them. I know so many people want to be liked. No, screw it. Just continue to give the uh, the crotch chop from the WWF days to everybody out there. Mariners fans were booing him as he entered in. And you've also got, like, dork Seattle radio reporters asking Dusty Baker questions like this. A lot of boos in the crowd. Obviously, there's a rivalry, at least from Seattle's perspective with the Astros, and I wonder if you feel that, too, from your perspective, too. Oh, yeah, I feel it. I mean, <laughs> I hear boos, too. And, uh, I mean, you know, this is a great town. I, I've all, like, this is one of my favorite towns in America, and one of the towns that I wanted to manage in at some point in time. But we'll probably get a lot of boos when, uh, uh, you know, when our guys are introduced tomorrow. And so you're kind of used to it. You don't like it necessarily, but you got to use it as a motivator versus a, a downer. And uh, so, but, you know, Rob got some booze too. So, <laughs> you know, we're in the same boat. 
I like that. Uh, see, that's how you pander to Astros fans. Just mention, hey, remember when Rob got booed too? In an answer from a uh, salty uh, Seattle area radio host, a guy who got mad at me once when I said, like, you guys, this is before I, I moved to Seattle. I, I, I tweeted at this guy once, like, it doesn't matter. Like, why are you watching these games? You're never going to do anything. And he got, like, really upset that I tweeted at him. And I was like, you don't matter. You're insignificant. You're just an insignificant speck. You have no value in the universe. Like, no one cares about you. You're going to be forgotten long, not too long from now. And he got mad about that? Oh, he got super mad. Really? I, can't, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, he's like, oh, like, it's really not nice of you to say to Mariners fans. And I was like, do you think I care? This is before the cheating stuff, too. I was just like, we're, lean into being awesome. Just be a, a jerk. It's fun. 